Hi everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you how to add more M4A1 assault rifles to your DAISY community custom server and how to add more 556.45 which the M4 uses and more magazines to go with it as well. So I'm using Nitrado as an example here. Um, this is uh, the Nitrado um, menu. So we're going to go into the web interface for the server I want to mod or at least edit because we want to get hold of the types.xml file and then we get into the server dashboard and what we're looking for is down here on the left we've got the file browser so we click on the file browser and this is a PlayStation server so it'll be similar to an Xbox server so you come across the mission file straight away what you can see here now if you're in a PC server I think it's a couple of levels down because you've got all those lovely init.c files well the init.c file and you've got all those lovely Steam Workshop mod folders that you can add to but look for the look for the missions folder, and when you click on that, um, you'll see either Chernerus or Enoch. Enoch being the Livonia version. So just click on the folder that you're running on this particular server. So this server is running Chernerus. So we're going to click on Chernerus. If it was Livonia, I'd click on Enoch. And then the the folder we're looking for is the DB or database folder, which we're going to click on there. And then the, the file that we want to download is this one, types.xml. So you just click on the little um, download icon. And then once you've downloaded it, put it into a folder. And you want to make sure you make a copy. So that if you make a mistake and you can't recover the mistake, you've still got that original file. When you've done that, you want to open it in your favorite text editor. You could use Notepad. Um, you could use the web interface to edit it, to edit it but I don't recommend that because it's quite a big file, the types one. Um, I recommend Notepad++. It's a free um, editor, free text editor. It has lots of powerful tools. But most importantly for me, it color codes things. So if you make a mistake, you delete a opening or closing tag, the XML file, you, it will show you straight away. The colors will change. So we want to find the M4A1. So if we do Control F and we look for M4, oh there we go, we found it straight away, you might have to cycle f through a few things. So there's the M4A1 in all its glory. So normally all you would get on a vanilla DAISY server is 10 M4A1 assault rifles. It's not very many is it? Um, the minimum is 7 so the server doesn't start adding more M4A1s back into the server until it gets down to 7. And it also counts it in a lot of places. That's what these flags things mean. So it'll count them when they're on the floor on the map. It'll count them when they're in a horde. So if they're in like a base. And it'll count them when they're in cargo as well. So when they're you know in somebody's backpack or they're in a chest or something. The only place it doesn't count them is if the player's got one. So you can see pretty pretty soon on a server, um, the, all the M4A ones are going to disappear. So let's let's increase the number. Now ten isn't very many, is it? So I'd feel I'd feel happy for M4A ones as long as you're not increasing everything else by silly amounts, like all the other assault rifles and all the other guns. I, I tend to say pick a few guns to increase, and the M4A one is a good one because it's a great fun gun to use. So. Let's just whack that up to 30, all right? So there's gonna be quite a few of them. And let's change the minimum to 20, so they'll start re re um, coming in. In fact, we could do as well, we could change the restock timer to zero, so as soon as people find them and pick them up, it'll start doing it. And I tell you what, let's really go to town. Let's not count them, let's turn that to zero, in cargo. Let's not count them in the horde either, so they'll only be counted on the map. This way, the M4 will be spawning in all the time. At, if we look down here, military places in Tier 3 and Tier 4. So that's sort of to the, to, to the northwest. In fact, what we could also do if we wanted as well, is if we copy, say, Tier 4. And we could do that, and we could put Tier 2. So we're going to find them somewhere else as well. And in fact, one of the things, I mean, you, you, if you want to make them really easy to find, you could delete all the tier two, tier three, just, just leave them, and then at any military location um, that you would find them. Another thing you could do is you could add a different usage to them. So all the items in DayZ have um, 
have a tag that tells the game what they are, so clothes, containers, weapons, etc., and a tag to tell the game where they should be found, so weapons, the, the, so the M4 military. But we could change it, say, to hunting. And then you would find M4s in hunting places, so that would be the, um, the hunter's um, platforms that you find around the game, or um, things. I think things like... Um, some of the inns are clusters as hunting areas as well. Um, camping areas as well, they're clusters, clusters hunting. You could do that if you wanted to. But maybe for the sake of immersion, maybe stick with military and just make it easier. So tier four, tier three, and tier two. So that gives us more M4s spawning in. So now we need to make sure we have more ammunition and we have more magazines to put them on. Now. You may well be saying, well, whoa, 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 what's that underneath, Rob, that I see? I can see M4A1 black, M4A1 green. So what you can do as well is you can spawn in different color variants of the M4A1. However, if you just increase the nominal values here and then add a usage name, military, tier 2, tier 3, tier 4, the M4A1 black and the M4A1 green will start to spawn in... Um, but they'll only spawn in as like the the base bit of the gun, you know, the middle bit without the stock and the barrel attachment and all that sort of stuff. So there's plenty of other videos out there that show you how to spawn in the coloured variants of the M4. So because you have to muck around with the config, um, sorry, the spawnable types file as well. So and we're not going to do that in this video. We're just concentrating on the normal M4A1. But I'll tell you what I will show you actually. I will show you the um, uh, spawnable types folder for file. And let's just have a look for the M4. Let's find it. Right, there's the M4. Right, we'll come back to that in just a minute. Okay, so we want to spawn in more ammunition because we've got all these extra M4s. We're going to need some more bullets for them, aren't we? So that uses 556 by 45. So if in the types.xml we just do a search for uh, 556. Uh, there we go. So here we go. So ammo box 556 by 45 tracer we can see that one excuse me ammo box 556 by 45 normal as you can see there's only 10 packs of tracers so straight away we could probably do something like that let, let's um let's uh double that to 20. we'll put the minimum up to uh, 15. they're only counted in the map so that's good but let's add that tier two. So let's copy that and let's put in tier two. So they'll be found closer to the coast or closer to the river in Livonia. Um, and let's right ammo box five five six by forty five twenty one. So these are the normal ones. So let's add a lot more of these. Let's double this to sixty again. When you're adding a lot of stuff, you should be taking stuff away. So go and have a look at things like the construction helmets, the dress shoes, the um, skater helmets and take out loads of those so we end up with a balanced thing um, what, so we've done that up to 60 so we need to make sure we make this put the minimum up to 50 and then let's change this value here so copy so again so they don't just spawn up in the northwest let's put in tier 2 so they'll be spawning with them and they're just counted in the map so that's good so again, we would save that. Now, we've got more ammunition, so we need more magazines, don't we? So this is the 30 round standardized mag. So if we go back to here, and we go back to this top, and we search for, now I'm probably gonna get this wrong. If it search for 30 round, does it appear? Mag, AK 30 round, AK 30 round, AKM, AKM, C mag, P5, Ruger, Stan mag, right, here we go. So there's two there's two to look at here there's the standard coupled 30 round mag so that's two magazines stuck together that fit the m4 and the mag standard uh, 30 round so there's, there's quite a few of these already so let's start off with the standard one but you know let, let's go to town let's double it to 60. let's put the minimum up to um 50. Um, now, see where it says quant min and quant max. This is how much how, the percentage of bullets that should spawn in. You, let's change that to 99. Uh, in fact, I'll tell you what I like to do. I do something like that. I don't know. So that means that these magazines will spawn in full of bullets, basically. 
which is cool um, and then let us add that tier 2 in as well so they spawn with the guns let's have a quick look at here flags counting cargo counting holder counting maps so that's good so we're gonna have a lot more mags spawning in and they're gonna be full of bullets because we've changed the quant min quant max to 98 and 99 percent so let's have a look at the coupled mag um, so there's not many of these there's only five that spawn in, in the entire map so a quick way of changing this would just be to copy from the type all the way up to the nominal let's copy that so do the type all the way up to the nominal paste that on top of it and we won't go for 60 Let, let's change this to say 20 of those and change the minimum to 15 of those um, so that's a really powerful piece of kit this this the standard coupled mag because it in effect with um, a quant min and quant max of 98 to 99 you'll have like 58 or 59 bullets in that magazine ready to go you know ba -ba 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 bang and then you can ba -ba -ba and you can keep going and they'll be found with the m4s on tier 2 tier 3 and tier 4 so we've increased the number of m4s we've increased the amount of boxes of bullets lying around we've increased the number of magazines and we've made it so the magazines spawn in full of bullets now you may well be saying well rob wait a minute what about the other attachments and by all means um where is the m4 there she is you know, there's all these different attachments you can put onto the M4. You know, different can carry um, different handles, the ATOG, the combat sights, all this sort of stuff. Um, different buttstocks. However, the way that the game works is that when an M4, here we go, spawns into the world, you get a chance of how it comes with these things already on them. Um, so it comes with the M4 buttstock and the plastic handguard and the, car the carry handle optic. Um, it comes with those on. And then you've got a 30% ch chance of it spawning in with a magazine in it. So the M4 is usable as it spawns in. And I think leave it up to your players to go and find all the other stuff. You know, the special optics and the magnified optics. Give them something to look for as well. They'll be able to pick up an M4 fairly easily now and they'll be able to, be able to have a bit of fun with it even in PvP if that's what your server does or by shooting zombies because it's a great fun gun to use. Um, and then leave all the other values um, as they are. By all means, go in and change them as you've become used to uh, editing the, the types file but if you're not sure just leave it at that and I'm sure the people on your servers will just be very very pleased that they can now pick up um, a really good fun gun to use and to carry around you know who doesn't want to fire a fully automatic assault rifle at a bunch of zombies in Daisy I know you know I definitely want to um, now when you've been done what you want to do is you want to hit that save button um, and then I would always recommend you go to somewhere like xmlvalidation.com and upload the file just to double check it to make sure you haven't made any errors. Um, just watch out for the errors that included in the comments. So the spawnable types file has uh, the, these websites say it has an error in the army comment, but it's not. The game ignores that. You're looking for other other errors there. And when you know it's it's good, you want to go back to your server. You want to stop the server. You want to upload the new types.xml file and then you want to restart the server and pretty soon you're going to be finding m4s you know all <laughs> all over the military places not just up in the northwest of Chernarus. you're going to be finding them sort of closer to the coast as well so there we go my friends that is how you add more m4a ones more ammunition and more magazines to your daisy custom private server hopefully you've hopefully you've found that video useful if you have hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and oh well i'll see you again soon